Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Art Smiles Back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a really fun, really creative way of doing digital art with very few things, low budget, especially if you have, well, you, the only thing you really need for this is a tablet and your finger. You don't even need a stylus, although I did use one, but you could zoom in to the picture and use your finger doing the same kind of thing. Um, I'll also be sharing some story times about my experiences with these animals in particular um, that I paint and other things that you could paint. So stay tuned. So anyway, uh, the app that I'm using in this um, painting is Paint 3D and I think it's a spin-off on Microsoft Paint. So this Paint 3D, I guess you could like add different like three-dimensional shapes, yada yada. I didn't use it for that. I used it for this oil paint tool and basically I color matched the areas um, with the color match. I don't know if you can see, it's like a little droplet feature on the side. Um, I just clicked on the color of the picture and then um, the paint would come out that color. So it's very easy, it doesn't take a lot of time. And then you just do these little strokes and mine is kind of like a contemporary modern slash, um, what is it called? Abstract art piece. And so you can literally do this with any picture that you like. Let's say you went on vacation. Let's say you went to, I don't know, Peru and you saw the, the, um, the pyramids there and you want to take a picture. You can literally paint it later, print it out, put it on your wall. Beautiful artwork. Very simple, not a lot of skill needed. All you need to do is color match and then put those colors in that spot of the picture and it will come out looking amazing. I'd say that this is something that you do for yourself, um, not as selling, like you wouldn't sell this unless it's like a stock photo and you're not stealing someone else's work. You never wanna plagiarize because as an artist, I can tell you that it's not nice, it's not fun. So whoever took these pictures, Thank you, they're gorgeous. I did not print, I did not sell these um, images that I painted. I'm just doing this for fun, just showing you that you can do this too. All right, going on to why I decided to paint this uh, hummingbird. So hummingbirds are really like special to me. I feel like um, they're one of the creations that it's just like magical, I don't know. Like you think of a unicorn and you think like, wow, magical creature. I think of a hummingbird and I think the same thing. They, they fly so quickly, they're so gorgeous. Like look at this butter, uh, sorry, hummingbird. I also think the same thing of butterflies, but hummingbird, look at this hummingbird and all the colors of its feathers. Like how beautiful is that? It's crazy. Anyways, story time. I had a hummingbird nest in my backyard at some point and the hummingbirds, um, I would look up, like this was during the the vid, if you know what I mean. And all I did was sit in my backyard and be sad. So I looked, I would always look up into this nest and the, the birds would fly around and do their little cute tweeting sound, their chirp. And um, at the, the same time, we had uh, unfortunate guests in our home called roof rats and they were disgusting and repulsive and freaked me out every time i heard them like running around up there so we had to get our tree trimmed off away from our house because that's how the they would get up there they would like climb up the tree and then climb onto the branch and climb onto our roof okay so we had the landscapers come and trim the tree and so i had no idea what they were about to do can you guess they literally cut off the branch where the hummingbird's nest was. And if you've ever seen a hummingbird's nest, they're the cutest, smallest little things. And it's so sad to me that they cut this branch off. I literally saw this little, I, I, well, firstly, when I figured out that they did that, I like went outside and told them and I cried because I was so devastated. And then shortly after that, the hummingbird, I think the mommy or the dad, I don't know, like flew up to my window, was literally staring at me and like, I felt like they were pleading with me, like, where's my nest and where are my babies? They were, they looked so sad. I don't know, like, it, it was heart-wrenching. I don't know. Um, one of the worst experiences um, with my landscapers, I'm not blaming them, obviously, because they probably didn't know. Hummingbird nest is really small, but it's just, like, very sad that that had happened. I guess it was all up to fate. 
anyways so moving on to the next painting that I do I did a panda because my husband's favorite animal is a panda and that's something we like bonded over when we were dating like I would send him um, panda memes and panda videos and whatever he was like obsessed I painted him um, a panda painting maybe I'll show it in a video one day it's really cute um, kind of similar to what I did here I did it with like actual paint um, except I didn't like paint over I like kind of traced it out and then painted but I used a like reference photo similar to this one anyway so there's this one really funny video there's two really funny videos with pandas but there's one like in a zoo and I think in like some Asian country I'm assuming China because they are prevalent in China but there were like a bunch of baby pandas running around and messing with the um, the zookeeper and then she kept having to take them out of like baskets and put them back they're so cute and then there's this other video that i'm sure you've seen if you haven't seen it you should go see it because it's so funny and cute but there's like a mother panda at a zoo and her baby is like laying on the floor and then has like a hiccup moment and the the mother panda gets scared and like freaks out so that is one of our favorite panda videos also um Here's a story time about a panda or pandas in general. My husband and I always used to go to San Diego Zoo um, whenever we were in San Diego. We would go there and the only reason we would go there was to see the pandas. Like he would go, you know, when he was younger with his parents. So when we got married, we went to see the pandas and that was like his favorite and only reason he went to the San Diego Zoo, okay? So recently we went back and they didn't have the panda exhibit. My husband was so upset. He literally wanted to get like a refund for the whole entire thing because he only goes there for the pandas. I don't, I, I bet you anything, we're probably never gonna go back to the San Diego Zoo again because the pandas exhibit isn't there. Anyway, um, this was really fun to do by the way, you guys. I was doing this in the middle of a Starbucks drinking my drink it didn't take that long it probably it really didn't take long um you can do this literally with anything if you have a picture of like a family photo that you want have you seen those um fam like photos family photos that like go viral on youtube of like they take like um, a picture of the family and they put someone who passed away in the background with like a um, halo above their head. Okay, so you could, if you could Photoshop the pictures together, then you can use this app and paint your own like family photo that way. And that would be a really cute sentimental gift for someone if you printed it out and gave it to them. Um, you could do it with anything. Like let's say your, I don't know, best friend loves chocolates you could do a chocolate painting for them and give it to them for valentine's day i don't know anything really you could think of you can do with this like painting this app is so fun i'm not sponsored by the way at all like even though i'd love to be sponsored um you know paint 3d come here and talk to me but <laughs> this app was so fun to use and i really suggest like if you guys like art um any kind of crafts poetry, anything creative, pottery, whatever it is, um, sculpting, I am the girl you should subscribe to because I love all those things and I will be posting some small pieces of that on my YouTube channel. I'm also getting into crochet and sewing so I'll probably have videos of those in the future too. I'm very craftsy. If you enjoy that, please consider subscribing and I'll be forever grateful to you. Thanks for watching. I'm so excited that you're here and have a wonderful, wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this.